Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome today. Oh boy. It is July 9th. Tuesday, July 9th. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Um, today we're going to do another pocket envelope type insert. This one has been in the queue for a while and I realized it would probably go nicely with last week's 12 by 12. So that's what we're going to do. And first, um, the usual uh, little show and tell and thank yous. I have some major thank yous this week. I did Naturalist Fruit. And this one is on Etsy the first time. I have a major, major collection to do regarding this, but I chose these ones for Etsy collage paper section. Um, five pages, and they are kind of old world style. Um, I can't remember what that's called, where they leave the blemishes. Remember, is that realism? Can't remember. I forgot my art styles. But that's what it reminds me of. <clears throat> and then I have Vintage Auto. I wish I would have called this Classic Cars. But I didn't think of that until it was already uploaded. And this is on Shopify only. And it is a huge selection of classic cars. Everything kind of looks like 57 Chevys to very classic. And there are some full-size pages. And I did do a little work on those, adding some vintage text. And... Uh, so there's a full-size car image included in some of those. So those will make really nice um, antique uh, auto images for just something a little different. Hopefully uh, that will be a unique offering for people. So the thank yous this week. Mandy, Marta, Elena, Roberta bought 26 products. That just blew my mind. So I hope you have a lot of fun. And I hope you have a lot more time than I do to play around with everything. Elena and Teresa also brought, bought multiple products. Kate, um, R. Bolton, Monica, Leah, Judith, and Jennifer. So thank you so much for that. That just really made, blew my mind when I saw it yesterday morning. And thank you also for the kind reviews. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your kind comments. Um, I don't know what to say, um, how much it means to me. You're, you're like the family I actually don't have. So, um, thank you so much. But, um, I would like to be hopeful, but I don't really know because my brother is now in a nursing home, and I'm not sure what's going to come back. He's still quite confused, uh, lost a huge chunk of memory. As I said, my brother had a lot of health problems. He has a steel rod in his leg. Um, his, he can't use his arm very well. Um, 
uh, he worked in construction for many years as a laborer, carrying shingles up on roofs, um, drywall, general construction. That takes quite a toll on your body over time, and um, it shows. <laughs> so he is, and now he's developing, you know, old age problems, and the they still don't know what happened. Maybe it was medication error. Maybe it was, they still don't know. They just assume it was a seizure, and um, He's had a large chunk of his memory just wiped away. So I'm hopeful it will, everything will come back. But um, at this point, um, that's, that's how it is at this point. And if he ends up staying in a nursing home, I really don't know. It's going to be a major issue dealing with his house and everything else. But it is what it is, right? And uh, you got to do what you you have to um, step up to the plate. So, okay, this week's project is. But anyway, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Um. So, this week's project is envelope pocket inserts. I hope you can see that little pocket there. It's blending in a little bit. And then on the back you have two other pockets. And then you will have an extra piece which you can do whatever you want with it. I made one other little pocket. And this one I actually sewed because I thought hers was so cute that she sewed on it and I did the same thing except my machine is acting up again. So I have to try to find the time to fix that before I attempt that again. I'm not going to sew this today. But you will need your 12 by 12 and first of all, you are going to cut off, cut your 12 inch to 8 inches. And I did that. So we have the 8 inch piece and the 4 inch leftover piece, which will, would be this. And then I'm going to do the rest here with you on my smaller guillotine. And what we need from this are two 5-inch pieces. So look at the back of this. And by the way, this is uh, this is Jen Hadfield. And the daisy is Vicki Bhutan. She's getting her own section. It, Joanne's it looks like. Vicky that is. So we need two pieces at five inches. So I'm doing it this way hopefully because I want these to go vertical. And then our remaining two inches will be for the back pocket. And I'm going to include her video because she did policy envelope closure and she used this piece to make the tabs and the back pocket. So I am not, I did not do the policy closure. So then we will have our two five inch pieces and our two inch piece. So this is two by eight and these are five by eight. 
Okay, and this is our leftover. So I'm going to sit, set that aside, and then we'll need a scoreboard, and we will need some glue. So, um, let's see. Score. At five, then four and a half. So we would score one at five. And the hardest part is remembering where to notch, <laughs> what piece gets notched, and uh, how to put it together. Four and a half. Second piece is going to get scored at four and a half. Okay. And then I think it's this piece that gets notched. Okay, I have to try to explain this to you because this is the hardest part. So you want your longest, the four and a half inch score is going to form the front of your pocket. And that's your flap. Let me get my other one. So see, I have mine backwards. Um, I want this one backwards too. So they are different, like that. And then this is the piece the five inch score. No. Oh my god, here we go. This gets notched, and this gets notched. So what I think I'm going to do is cut my two inch pocket, and I'll notch that, and then I'll use that as a guide to notch both of those. I notched them all at the same time yesterday. So this gets notched, this gets notched, and this gets notched. So that you have one, two, three notches. That's the hardest part. Well, the second hardest part. So I'm going to cut this at five. And then I'm going to make a little mark at two and a half. So yeah, I think she pretty much cut out all her circles to make her policy, you know, figure eight and string closure. So let me get a mark here. Let me use a white pen if I can get it to work so we can see it. Come on, pen. Okay. Put my notch in there first. Then keep this assembled so we don't lose my place. Gonna 
clip that. Just use that as a guide. There's two. You could, you could probably bend that before you even score it and do it that way. Okay, there's three notches. Now, this goes here. That goes there, and that goes there. So today I'm just going to glue I think these go well together for the photo, hopefully, and they're kind of cheery and summery and kind of boho. That daisy paper I bought another one yesterday. Did I say Joann's is having a 50 cent paper sale? And I already had one or two, but I kind of love that daisy pattern, so I bought another one. I kind of like this pattern too, but those, those aren't colors I would normally use, that's for sure, even though I do like yellow. I like yellow a lot. Get that in there nice and straight as possible. Okay. And then there's our back. And I just um, did the edge, the corner with a little tag corner. I think I'll do the same thing. I think maybe she rounded hers. You make your corners how you want. If I fix my sewing machine, maybe I'll sew this one as well. Except I think I have to change the thread. I just realized this doesn't have any blue in it. <laughs> I was there at Joanne's yesterday trying to find something that would coordinate. And I just realized this really doesn't have any blue. So, oh well gonna have to do. So then let's get our third pocket on there. It's a little off but that's okay. <clears throat> so there's our third second pocket I mean in the back. You can move it up a little if you want. That would actually be going opposite if I did that, but no, I want the flower. I want it alternating like the other one. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, look how cute that is. Let me score that a little or burnish that a little tighter. Now, for your closure, you know, I think a simple, a very stiff whatever would keep that close, circle, whatever. Might even use a little square. I've done that before. Okay, let me get a medium corner on here. Okay. There we go. Here's the second one. So we're going to take a remaining piece and what I just did is I made one more little septeria pocket but you could make two you can make another pocket going this way or you could just save it for little tag or card to put in there I'm gonna leave this final piece up to you but I'll take this one, this one, and make another little pocket and leave the other piece for when, you know, when this actually gets used. Because you never know, I might want to um, Keep it for tags or something else. And um, it looks like these papers are on their way out, so I'm just going to keep one of them. So, what you do, I cut that in half so it's four by six. And I'll just do the same as I did this one. And normally you would do a half an inch on each side, but I didn't want to lose that much width. So I went down a quarter instead, quarter inch. Whoops, don't move. And you know, we're having another beautiful day. I was so happy, you know. I was so happy. I'm going to try to make that similar. Okay, it's close enough. I was so happy to have a beautiful summer again. And I've been so busy. But had time to spend with my daughter and she's leaving. I have so much to do regarding that. We're still working on getting more financing to pay for her the remainder of her tuition. Believe it or not, 
And that's concerning and taking more time than I ever thought it would. So there you end up with that. Cut the cut those little rectangles off the bottom. And then we are going to I want the flowers on the front. I'm going to pull those in. One of the things that makes her little pockets. I call these septeria pockets. So cute is the way she um, rounds the corners there. And normally they would be more visible because they would be half an inch, but I don't want to lose the width of my pocket because Pocket is a pocket. <laughs> okay, I don't want it, don't want to lose the function of my pocket. Get that a little straighter. And then if you turn it over and you find you have to cut a little more off an edge. Looks like I do right there. That's fine. And if you're getting some resistance, you can put a little angle there. Which I'm not really getting any. But you can do that to fix everything or make everything fold better. So there you have a cute little pocket to go with your insert. Oops, don't go up that high. Do this on this edge. I did that on the wrong edge. Wrong side, I mean. Hopefully I'm still in. Okay, there's my second little pocket. And something else that reminds me, I wanted to tell you last time about the other insert. Two little scraps. Okay. So there we go. So we have that leftover piece. That little leftover piece. And then we have our little other little pocket. So there's our envelope pocket insert. And there's our leftover piece for that. Okay, let me just grab those from last week. I wanted to tell you something. Okay, these would make a great um, Great for craft fairs. You could uh, make a set of tags and card cards, journal cards, to put in this taller pocket and then put a set of cards in this pocket, package it all up, and that would be so cute for a gift. Or uh, craft fairs, in my humble opinion. So, okay, everyone, we're at 31, so that didn't take that long. 
Let me get a piece of paper here so you can clearly see these. Let me show you this one up close. So maybe you can, I don't know if you can see my stitching or not. And then there is your envelope pocket inserts. And again, that's from Paper Inspirations. And I am going to post her link so you can see how she assembled to easily do her policy closure and which I chose not to do. One of these days I'm going to make a cute um, band for keeping things like this close. And I'm going to put something awesome on the band itself so that it can be part of the design. That's, that's another closure. I prefer but generally I, I don't probably don't do policy closures as much as some people you know everyone has their own likes and dislikes I, I just find them a little cumbersome to do them all the time plus then you have to hide the uh, you know when you split apart your brad, you have to cover that and do all that kind of stuff. So I generally like to keep everything paper as well <laughs> because I just like to see what I can make out of paper. Okay, thank you so much again for your time and oh, let me show you how this might go in a journal forgot to do that. Um, this one isn't particularly blending well, but that will fit in the standard size journal because it's only five inches. It really has to remain an insert. I really don't see how else you could turn it into anything else. Not even a flip. So, what you could do is use a paper clip and attach it to a page, like so. That might be cute. Let me see, where's my pocket? I don't know if it's going to fit in this pocket because there's not enough space. So no, it's not going to fit. No. So okay, you really kind of have to keep that as an insert. Happy Mail, what have you. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think how this might work for a craft fair, but off the top of my head I can't think. So, okay, everyone, that's this week's 12 by 12, and next week we'll be on to a little break. Hopefully an easy summertime paper craft, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks again so much. Bye.